Welcome back to Instruments of Destruction, and as you can see, we've got some brand new stuff in the latest update. We have a brand new map that has bridges here. We have another, uh, some more changes to the old structure zoos that have different buildings, and there's some changes to how physics works with buildings getting destroyed. They're no longer as likely to just kind of collapse in on themselves when they lack as much support so uh they kind of they kind of crumble a little bit more realistically which makes me want to try some other experiments with some creations that i've built before do you guys remember the house thrower lunch oh it was beautiful if you don't remember the house thrower you're gonna see it a little bit later in the episode but first uh i wanted to play around with the bridges because uh my channel and bridges uh we have history <laughs> And I think now it's my time to get revenge on the bridges for all the trouble and pain that they've put me through in the past. Uh, so what I have here is I think my first creation that I've ever built in this game. This is modeled after an actual existing tank concept called like a mine flail or something. It was meant to basically sweep mines. Um, but let me go over to... What is this bridge all about? This one looks like the weakest bridge to me. Well, actually, to be honest, that one looks like it uh, has the most potential for getting accidentally destroyed. But... This one definitely seems seems weaker than that middle one. So why does it have, is this supposed to be like a two lane bridge or something? It has a divider in the middle of it for some reason. Let's just see how much damage this thing does here. Uh, considering that also there's a different level of destruction on these things now. We don't have tough structures on. We have our normal, normal destructive capabilities here. Oh, it's slowing me down, that's for sure. See, I don't know why I'm doing this in front of me because now I can't actually get across the bridge. <laughs> But I suppose if I back up while I do this, it's not as powerful as I was ex Oh, you know what we need to do? There's a modification I can make th to this thing. What this thing lacks is some overdrive. All right, here we go. It looks slow at first, but I think the power swivel is going to be better equipped to deal with the resistance and not slow down. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. A mix of overdrive and some power swivels, and we're literally shredding this bridge. Here, I'll, even, I'll put it even lower. Oh, I'm actually... <laughs> That's kind of funny. My the width of the um, of the flail is the perfect length to not be able to fit in between the rails. So that's what I might actually keep all of the rails intact, while at the same time destroying everything underneath. That's actually kind of fun. Man, look, oh this this bridge actually has a lot more structural support than I was expecting. Well, yeah, this thing's pretty devastating. All right, now we're gonna try it. Let's test it out on some other bridges now. We know how it does on that bridge. We're gonna work our way over to the suspended bridge over here. All right, this one seems like it has a lot stronger of a bridge. Look at those beams underneath, those support beams. Uh, yep, that metal. The metal is really, really resistant. But we are digging through. Oh, and there's, an, there's multiple layers to this one. This is a really well-built bridge. Look at that. Here, let me slow down a little bit. Let's get a look at what... Yeah, see, look at that. That is an entire support beam right there. There's no way we're taking this bridge out with this thing. With the lack of damage that I've done, I could probably still drive across this. Here, let me lift this up. Oh, yeah, look at that. Relatively not a problem. Come on. There we go. All right, yeah, that bridge is definitely a lot more resilient. Uh, let's see about this one over here. I'm kind of curious how this one works. It looks like there's actual cables... It looks like, oh my god, I am the perfect fit for this. Barely, kind of. Oh, I I caught one of the cable. Oh no! Oh. Is this actually really supported by those cables? That's kind of. A, I like this bridge. This is a fun bridge. I gotta see if I can actually drive something across this. I was not expecting that. I wanna see what happens to this bridge section right here if I take this out with my flails, which I'm assuming I'm going to be able to do. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh oh. All right, you know what? That didn't actually do anything because they're still attached over here. There, I gotta get that one. There we are. And get this one. Almost. There we go. Now watch this section when this bridge snap or when this cable snaps. Assuming it's going to snap. Okay. All right, it definitely has an effect. It wasn't as much as I was thinking, but it is still attached over there. All right, let me see if I can even drive across this one. 
Nope. All right, hold on. I gotta go to load vehicle here. I don't even know if I have anything small enough to drive across this bridge. Everything I've built is kind of a ridiculous creation. All right, well, that's the case. Let's just build something real quick. All right, this should be able to do it no problem, right? I'm just curious how, how sturdy this bridge even is at its baseline without trying to destroy it. Whoa. Oh. Oh, this is not what I was expecting. This is not attached to these? Oh, there's something, there is a support under here. Oh, that's not, that's different than I was expecting. I thought each of these had support underneath the bridge. But it looks like there's support here, but there is not support over here on this one. So we're gonna go way down. Yeah, look at that. This is an interesting bridge. Okay, look how fast we can go. All right, I gotta do that in reverse. I gotta do this until I break it. Man, this is a risky bridge to be on. Oh, and I fell off. All right, well, before we move on to one of the other new maps, um, I got one final thing I want to do to these bridges, and that's gonna, that's gonna call in my latest creation. I am bringing in the tank. And this tank is massive. I don't even think it's gonna be able to fit on any of these bridges, but I do want to try to take down one of these bridges by taking out all of their supports. And you know what? This suspension bridge is kind of in the way, so let's start with the suspension bridge, see if we can take this thing out. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's go one end at a time. Yeah. Ooh. You know what's kinda interesting? What if I just go for the tops? The whole bridge should eventually fall down, right? Oh, that wasn't quite as high as I thought it was gonna go, but oh, look at that. Oh, look at the whole, it's going all the way down over here. That's kinda awesome. All right, let's keep it going. Uh oh, that might've been a bad aim. Nope, lands right on the bridge, that's good. Oh, that is satisfying. This is a satisfying bridge to destroy, even more than I was expecting. Oh, look at that. This one's still being held up. Oh, it's happening over here too. Interesting. All right, so now I'm curious if I can take out these support beams on that second bridge over there. If I take out a bunch of the middle ones, will it collapse from underneath? It's gonna be hard to aim this. Oh, these things don't really so, ooh. Okay. Is that support beam gone? That support beam is gone. It looks like I have a good height right now. Gotta admit, that happened way easier than I was expecting it to happen. That was awesome. All right, let's see what happens if I take out, these are a lot more spread apart, these support beams. So if I just take out this one support, that entire section of the bridge just might collapse. I don't want to hit the top of the bridge. I just want to hit the support beam. Oh. Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting. The other support is still there. I did do unintentional damage to the top though. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Almost. Oh, wow. I wasn't, I honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I thought that uh, that support beam was gonna be enough to take down that entire section of the bridge, but it appears that it, uh, it's a little bit more stable than I was expecting. Okay, one good shot over on this side. This has to do it. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, finally. We just had to give it a couple of more vibrations. All right, so you're probably wondering before we move over to the next map, um, can this tank go across any of the bridges? Uh, well, let's find out. I am actually too wide for this. The question is, can I just plow through the uh, the railings and the rest of the bridge support me? Oh my god. See, I am i don't even think I have tough structures on. Hold on, let me check real quick. Tough structures is not on. This would not have been anywhere near possible in the previous version of the game. And I totally lost my balance. So I'm gonna have to reset. The, I might be able to make it across this one. This could actually work potentially. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to try to stay as straight as possible as I go across this. Ugh. It's pushing me as hard as I can. All right, am I on both right now? It's hard to tell. Okay. All right, one side's up, one side's down. It's a little bit inconsistent. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's surprisingly still supporting me. <laughs> no way. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Turn to the left, or turn to the right, turn to the right. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 we're almost there. Come on, we're almost there, please. I think, oh, we got it, we got that. That was no problem. Look at that, no problem at all. We actually, honestly, we didn't really do that much damage to the surface of the bridge itself. It was mostly just the railings. 
I think it would be kind of cool to have a map like this, but without pre-built bridges on it. So you could actually build like a bridge laying vehicle and test that out. That would be pretty cool. But let's head over to um, Structure Zoo 1 is a completely different Structure Zoo, as you can see. All kinds of sizes of buildings. And this will actually be really uh, a really good way to show you guys the difference in how the buildings collapse and also the difference between some tough structures and non-tough structures. Let's just go with the tallest one first. I'm just going to fire a whole bunch of these at it. Just take it out from the bottom. And at some point it should, it would have already fallen down completely. Like, look at that. All right, there we go. Once like the last little bit of it was gone. So as you can see, it feels a lot more rigid. Like rather than just collapsing in on itself, it actually fell over like it was a solid building. And that was collapsed, there we go. So this makes me think that my house throwing vehicle might actually stand a better chance considering it kind of relies on the the building's ability to stay together. It kind of just shredded it when it threw it before, but now let's see what happens. I don't know, I guess I'll go with this one first. Seems reasonable to me. So let's see what happens. If I cut it down, oh boy. Oh, that's already way better. See, before it would already kind of start collapsing at this point. This is actually pretty good, looking promising. So this is not with tough structures on, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what happens. All right, in three, two, one, go. That is totally more like it. Look at it go. How far is it even going? I have no like reference point right now for context. I just want to see where the water ends up being as I follow it down. Okay, that's kind of... It went literally almost to the edge of the water. I did not think this thing had that much power, but apparently it does. I gotta go for the tallest building then. This is even with tough structures off. We're gonna try this with tough structures on after this just to see um, what the difference might be. Collapse on, there we go. All right, ready? And launch. Okay, that, <laughs> that right there is what it used to do. I don't think this building was prepared for that, but maybe, maybe with tough structures, it'll actually work. I don't know, let's find out. I just wanna see the rest of this debris fall down. Some of it, some of the, the debris over there thinks it's in water, just floating down slowly. Man, it, the debris is still raining down. Look at this. There's still pieces, little stragglers. How far, how far have you guys gone up? There's another one way over there. Oh, is that a piece? Well, some of those were really, really high up. All right, now it is time. Let's turn tough structures on and see if uh, this building behaves any differently. I really, I don't know how much of a difference it'll really make. Tough structures is now on. It already feels tougher. Like just trying to break through with the saw blades. I'm seeing it give me a lot more resistance. Okay, what's holding it? Oh, there we go, there we go. Ready and... Oh! What? It looked like it was going to happen. It totally looked like it was going to happen. And then it just didn't. It just disintegrated. All right, that was kind of crazy though. That felt way more, way more brutal and powerful. Let's use the building that worked before and see if it still works. Maybe we just got lucky with it that first time when it stayed relatively intact. I don't know. All right, here we go. Just gonna break through and launch. There it is. Oh, yes, that's like the whole building too. Oh, that is so good. Oh no, my vehicle's falling in the water, I think. No, 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 I don't wanna get vehicle disabled. I'm trying to back up as I watch the building as well. There it goes. That was an aggressive landing in the water, wasn't it? Okay, I gotta admit, I'm a pretty big fan of this update, just merely for the fact that it has brought new life back to my building launching vehicle. Oh, oh no, that one doesn't look like it survived. No, no, that one did not survive. It seems like the taller the building is, the more it has a chance to just compress and implode in on itself as I'm trying to launch it. So, um, I kind of like that. Let's, uh, let's launch some more. There we go. <laughs> it's literally just debris. It's so cool, though. 
Uh, I feel like this building might have a decent chance at survival here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ready? Oh, no. I can't see. I'm in the wrong camera. Hold on. Free camp. There we go. Where is it? Where is it? I know the building is there. <laughs> there it is. It is actually there. It survived. Oh, it is so satisfying when they survive. Here, let's go follow it. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Yep. The building catapult serves a new purpose. Actually, no, not a new purpose. It's just it's just better at serving its exact one purpose, catapulting buildings. All right, but there is one more, one more new map, um, or rather adjusted map, uh, Structure Zoo 2. Now, I didn't really do too much on Structure Zoo 2 before, so I don't know how different this is from the previous version but I do like that these buildings are kind of flat and long. One of the parts of this latest update was allowing for bigger structures, and that is, seems to be what this allows for. Uh, so this is exactly what this uh, this house flipping vehicle is not meant for, because these buildings are just literally way too big for this thing, but I can do this. Oh, I forgot I have tough structures on as well, so it's a lot harder for me to rip through it. But, oh my goodness. I thought we were gonna balance there for a second. That was kind of epic. We have tough structures on. Let's compare. Let's go back to our tank. Let's see if we can ride up onto a building. Can one of these buildings support my tank for me to actually use the treads to lift myself up onto it? Man, this tank is such a frame tank. <laughs> it literally tanks the frames. All right, I think I have tough structures on. So let's see if I'm capable of driving up onto this. This is not looking good. Well, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, oh, 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 oh. This is actually way better than before, that's for sure. Oh, no way. It's supporting me, kind of. It's a little bit too steep, it seems like, right now. Oh, no, 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 no. How, how cool would it be if we could rest on top of the building? I don't think it's gonna happen, though. We're just gonna keep, it's like, it's like falling through ice. You try to pull yourself up, but it just keeps breaking underneath you. That's totally what's happening right here. Uh, you can see the treads trying to get some grip, though. By the way, um, I saw some suggestions based off of this tread idea for a chainsaw, and I think that's a great idea, but I have an even- I, I have an idea inspired by that for the next episode of Instruments of Destruction. I'm gonna build a really unique chainsaw using this concept, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Um, yeah, it does not- it looks like I'm gonna end up getting through it at this angle. It's just like, it is like crawling through ice. <laughs> but that is with Tough Structures on still, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check to confirm. Yep, Tough Structures is on. We did manage to get through the entire building, but it was definitely able to support me a lot more. So I think this is really the only building I had a chance of that with. This one is nice and flat, but it's a little bit too tall. But I'll give it a try anyway, just to see what happens. Yeah, the roof is just above my track height as well, so I can't even get any, get any grip on it. Then um, we'll destroy it from above. There we go. This is such a massive tank. This is my home now. Now I live here. It is cozy and it is perfect. It reminds me of cats like going into boxes that are just too small for them and they look so happy regardless. It's funny because I probably could fit in that building, but I chose this building instead. There we go. Perfect. This is a much more suitable home for me. <laughs> just need to break my turret through. There we are. It's like a submarine just sticking up below the surface. You know, it's the perfect hiding spot. They'll never see me shooting from here. They're like, is that building shooting at us? All right, so we've got a whole bridge map that has some different types of bridges to experiment with. If you guys have any ideas for what you'd like to see on that map with those bridges, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Um, and we've got a whole bunch of new structures to test out our crazy inventions on. And I'm looking forward to creating a crazy chainsaw in the next video. So make sure you guys subscribe for that. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.